Now we shall take up some concepts of finding the nth term of the equation of a geometric progression. Now here is the last term of the series, so and so 231 terms. So that means last term. So we need to find t thir 231 terms. T31 has to be found out when a is equal to x square. This is definitely not an arithmetic progression and r will be equal to x upon x square that is 1 by x and you need to find out t31. Now we know tn is equal to a r raised to n minus 1. So t31 would be a r. a is nothing but x square into 1 by x raised to 31 minus 1. So it will be x square into 1 raised to 30 upon x raised to 30, which will turn out to be 1 raised to 30 is 1, x square by x raised to 30, that is 1 upon x raised to 28. So 31st term is 1 upon x raised to 28, which can also be written as x raised to minus 28. So the final answer in this case is either this or this. So among these, this is the correct answer. So it's a simple application of finding the nth term as in the case of arithmetic progression. The geometric progression has been given which will help us to find the a. We also have fi can find out the value of r from this gp. <coughs> and yes, we do have it. Then here we have. The second term of a GP is 24 and the fifth term is 81. The series is what? So T2 is 24 and T5 is 81. You need to first find out A, then you find R using them. What will be the series? Let's see. So T2, that is 24, is going to be A r raised to 2 minus 1 that is a r itself call that as 1 and 81 is a r raised to 5 minus 1 that is a r raised to 4. Now we need to solve these equations. So we can divide 2 divided by 1. When you divide 2 by 1 t 24 81 by 24. So when you divide this we get 81 by 24 is equal to a r raised to 4 upon r a gets cancelled and you get r cube 27 and 8 and hence r turns out to be 3 upon 2 so r is 3 upon 2 if r is 3 upon 2 we need to find a so 24 would be equal to so in 1 put r is equal to 3 upon 2. So 24 is equal to a r that is 3 by 2. So a would be 24 into 2 by 3. So we have 16. So the first term is 16. So we have 16 you have then 24 then 24 into 3 by 2 that is 36 and hence further you have. So 24 by 16, 16, 24, 36 and so on and so forth. So we have 16, 24, 36 and so on and so forth. So this would be the answer. So we are basically solving the first and second equation. Just as in case of arithmetic progression, we had a plus 2d is equal to so and so and a plus 4d is equal to so and so. We subtracted the equation to get the value of d. Here you divide to get the value of r and substitute and get the value of a. So our series is going to be 16, 24, 36 and so forth. So we have this as 16, 24, 36, 54. Yes, we got it right. Further. Okay. Now the fifth term of a GP is cube root of 3, then the product of first 9 terms. Now here we need to introduce the concept of how we can take as the terms. Now suppose we have first three terms of a GP. 
we can take them as a by r a and a r so that if you say product r gets cancelled suppose you want to take the first five terms we can take it as a upon r square a upon r a a r and a r square now suppose you want to take nine terms so if it is going to be nine terms you're going to start with a upon r raised to four a upon r cube a upon r square a upon r a a r a r square and so on up till a r raised to four so this these will be the nine terms that we are talking about so if there are three terms you can take it as so that the difference between consecutive is always kept as r so now it's told fifth term of a GP is cube root of. So we can take the nine terms as these. So the fifth term, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth term, A is turning out to be cube root of three. Then the product of the first nine terms. Now when you multiply all these, A upon R raised to four into A upon R cube into all these, a r raised to 4, you'll find that all the r terms get cancelled and you just end up getting a raised to 9 because you, there are 9 terms. So if there is an r raised to 4 upon r raised 1 upon r raised to 4, there is an r raised to 4. If there is a 1 upon r cube, there is an r cube. So all the terms get cancelled. The only terms that are going to remain is a multiplied by itself 9 times. So it is a raised to 9 has to be found out. But we already know a is cube root of 3. That means this is going to be cube root of 3 raised to 9. Which is nothing but 3 raised to 1 by 3 the whole raised to 9. Which is going to be 3 raised to 1 by 3 into 9. Which is 3 cube. And that is 27. So if fifth term of a GP is cube root of 3. Which is a. Then the product of the first nine terms, which is a raised to nine, will turn out to be twenty-seven. This is what we have as the answer. So this is how we solve these kind of cases. So remember this. We shall be reiterating this off and on. Yes, we do get the product of the first nine terms as twenty-seven.